Geysers use a lot of power, which is a challenge for solar PV. Installing an extend element instead of a standard element in your geyser reduces both the kilowatts and the kilowatt hours required. This makes all the difference to your solar PV system, meaning now you can include the geyser. Installation is as simple as replacing a standard element and is a cost-effective solution which removes the need for solar thermal or heat pumps, which are both costly to install and maintain. Solar PV usually produces excess power for eight to nine months of the year, with no excess in the winter months. By installing Extend, you reduce the total house load, which maximizes this period of self-sufficiency. The kilowatt hours required by the geyser depend on the household water usage. As a rough guide, a full bath uses around 100 liters of hot water and a shower around 50. With that as a reference, how much hot water do you use? Extend elements help even more when you have more than one geyser. You can add timers and then peak the water for free when there's excess solar power. If we look at an example of a hybrid inverter with a maximum load of 5 to 8 kilowatts, then two geysers with standard elements would total 6 kilowatts, and the same two geysers with extend elements installed would total 4 kilowatts with the same rate of water heating. This is a small but significant difference. If you need to heat the geyser in the morning, for example in the winter months, then using a 2 kilowatt extend element instead of a 3 kilowatt standard element reduces the power required from your batteries or the grid. This means you minimize your electricity purchases, which is the aim of the game. If you have solar PV installed, or are thinking about it, installing an extend element will save you money and improve the performance of your PV system. Extend elements are available nationwide at Plumlink stores. Switch to extend elements and start saving today.